Welcome to the tutorial for God of War on the hardest difficulty setting. I lost the uh, footage of the final phase of the Magni and Modi fight, so I don't have that to post up. The recording got lost. That one took me a long fucking time, that one section, but um, I got it eventually. I, I use similar tactics to the other two phases I, I have posted up, but it was the hardest phase for sure. But yeah, after you beat that, the next big fight or difficult fight is going to be this fight. And this took me a while. This was fucking hard. Until I figured out how to do the um, combo that I'm doing here, which is two light attacks followed by two heavy attacks. And you'll see it gets the guys in the air, and I try to do it to a crowd of enemies and then just whip the shit out of them and finish off as many of them as possible because this can be very difficult. If they give you cornered, you know, get you cornered, they can kill you like very quickly so um, I rely heavily I pretty much only use that combo for the most part unless I can't complete it but I also use parries and shit like that as you can see but um, you don't want to let you know let them get behind you for too long because they'll start getting hits in so you got to really be aware of everything that's going on but yeah unlike the old God of War games where it was three light attacks and a heavy attack to do that similar type of combo. In this, it's two light attacks and two heavy attacks. It took me a little while to figure that out because I couldn't find a combo list in the game. But once I figured that out, I beat this within a few tries. Previous to that, I didn't know this combo, so I died a good amount of times. And as I would say all this shown in this video, all the footage, uh, maybe took me an hour or longer to beat because I lost... Um, I tried this another day a few times. I only tried it a few times, I think. But today I tried for about 44 minutes. So maybe last time I tried, maybe I tried for 15 or 20 minutes. I'm not sure. So maybe an hour in total or maybe a little over. But yeah, pretty much just, you know, keep your distance and try to get that combo in. And as you'll notice, I start up the combo early a lot of times, even when there's no enemies around. That's because I want to hit them with the last hit of the combo, the fourth hit of the combo is what gets them airborne. And once they're in the air, you can whip the shit out of them while they're floating up in the air. So, um, that's why I'll do that. That fight's hard because it forces you to use this weapon pretty much. And so this, you know, this area does too, but now you don't have Atreus either. So you can't use your resurrection stones and you, um, you don't get to use the stun arrows. So that it definitely makes it harder. But yeah, uh, to start off this fight, I use that narrow corridor to group them all together and... and I exploit that combo again and, you know, beat the shit out of them while they're airborne. So pretty much same kind of technique, which I'll be using on these other fights as well coming up. So it's going to be pretty similar. The other thing that I do is the enemies that throw projectiles, I try to take them out, you know, first a lot of times. But if not, I'll try to parry their projectiles and throw it back at them. Or throw it back at another enemy. But the, the way you get that, that's an upgrade in the menu that I got a while ago. It's definitely worth getting for, uh, you know, it's definitely useful. And you'll see me use it a little bit. Now for, um, for these jumping guys, you can either dodge their attack or parry it while they're in midair. But if you don't, they'll grab onto you. The other thing you'll see that I did is when the jumping guy was about to land on me, I used my charging shield attack that you find in one of the chests and um, that, that'll also end it as well so you can do that if you have it available I forgot what it's called but it's one of the runic attacks where you charge in with your shield see as I was trying to use that chain to yank the guy to me um, that guy got on me so I was unable to you know to stop that animation but aside from that yeah pretty pretty similar you know using these, these combos again if you get frozen, it will slow you down and it can fuck things up. But these parts are way easier than the part that was just shown in the beginning of the video. That part's pretty fucking hard at first. But like I said, once you know that combo... They, I also, in the first part, I got killed several times because of the fucking trees. At times, they will block the enemies from the camera. Meaning you can't see the attack and you can't parry it, so you'll get, you'll get killed sometimes. Or damaged badly, so that's dangerous. You see, I'm throwing the projectile uh, back at the enemy there. 
those guys can cause a lot of problems from a distance. So I use that runic attack to, to get in close again. Some parries, and then um, I accidentally used the rage mode here, but, um, you know, it worked out anyway. It would have been more useful in the next encounter. The next encounter can be quite difficult, you know, the next one after this, but, um, you know, it, it was good enough. It, it ended the encounter, so that's fine. You do have to beat those two waves of enemies to get the checkpoint. If you die on one of those waves... Then you'll you'll have to you know repeat the two battles again. Sometimes the game does that where you don't get a checkpoint after one battle. Sometimes you got to defeat a few battles, but it's easy enough. It's a little tricky. I think I died a few times. This part was pretty tough though. I died several times on this. I think. What I do here is I use my charge runic to get on that um, shield guy immediately near the ledge. Use the uh, combo to get him into the pit, just to get rid of him. And um, once you know where the guys spawn, you see, as soon as I turned, I was already attacking the next guy because I already had done this a few times. I knew where these guys were coming from. So, you know, I was able to react quickly. And, and the quicker you can do it, you know, that you can dispense these guys quick and then, you know, they can't really cause a problem. So once you know what's going on, you can react quickly. And then, you know, that's the end of that. This one can be tricky. I, I think I died a few times on this, maybe once or twice. I'm not sure. But it can be tricky because you got this heavy guy here, which takes a long time to kill. And then you got a lot of enemies coming in, you know, fucking with you. Especially the projectile guys that throw shit at you while you're trying to fight. So at some point I'll ignore this heavy swinging guy and uh, focus on the smaller enemies. Because, you know, they're, they're, they're the ones that are going to cause the problem. That guy's pretty fucking slow. But if he hits you, he will do a lot of damage. I used my charging runic attack on the uh, projectile guy first to try to get his health down. Because I, I like to try to target those first. Then I just use my rage mode and I get one of these guys off the cliff here, which is good. And then I get that guy's health down a decent amount with one boulder. And uh, or maybe maybe I landed two on him. And then, you know, finish off those assholes. And now there's going to be, after this guy, there'll be two more guys that come in that I'll have to deal with. At least two more guys. You see, there's one of them already. And he's going to start throwing shit at me. I think both of them are going to start throwing shit at me. And, um... I'll be focusing on them first, you know, because once you just deal with this heavy guy, it's easy. You know, he's easy enough to fight by, you know, alone, but trying to fight them while they're throwing shit at you would be uh, dangerous. So I get them grouped together, and then I use that combo, and that finishes off, you know, the light, light, heavy, heavy, that finishes them off. And now this is just a little tedious of just whipping them and, and evading. And it takes a little while, because, you know, his health is, he has a lot of health, a lot of defense, so... But it's pretty much just dodge and strike, dodge and strike. That attack you can parry, but the one that's red, you you know, if you try to block it, you'll get knocked back. I don't know if you'll get damaged, but you'll get knocked back, and then sometimes he can land a follow-up hit or something like that. So it's it's better to uh, you know to dodge that. You you can try to parry the the blue the blue attacks if you want, or the I guess they have a yellow circle around them. You can try to parry those. The first attack you can try to parry. But I didn't bother risking it because I wasn't really familiar with fighting these guys. So I just made it easy. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I'll try to get up some more gameplay of this game soon. I took a break after the uh, Magni and Modi fight. That was tough. That third phase gave me a lot of trouble. But um, after I buffed up some of my attack stats by messing around with my different equipment, I think that helped me out a lot to get them down faster. Since you had to take them down both at the same time, that's what made it really hard about that boss fight. So I think that helped. But yeah, stay tuned.